So now we will see how we can check if a number is odd or even number in JavaScript. So guys, let me just move to VS Code over here and simply we are going to create a new file under the programs folder. So as you can see, we have this odd even number dot JS file in this case. Now guys, simply we can write the function that is check odd even over here. So we have this check odd even function name that we can simply call in order to get whether the number that is provided to this function is the even number or the odd number. So over here, we are going to use the arrow function in this case, which is going to take one parameter that is number over here. And then we have the combination of these two special characters that is equal to and the greater than symbol over here. And then guys inside this, we need to check whether the number is positive or negative. So simply we are going to use the logic of the modulus operator in this case. So when the number is divided by two and when the remainder is zero, when we divide that number by 2 so in that case the number will be the even number so as you can see we are going to check whether this particular number when it is divided by 2 and when the remainder is equal to 0 so guys in order to find the remainder when we are dividing two numbers we use the percentage symbol over here which is the modulus operator so in this case if this particular expression is true then the number is an even number so over here simply we are going to return the statement that number is even over here and then guys if this particular condition is not true we can simply provide the else part over here which is not required it is not mandatory since if it is the even number then the return statement will help the interpreter to go back outside of this check odd even function but if the number is not even then only the interpreter will come to this particular section in which case we are going to return that the number is odd so over here simply we can say number is odd in this case so guys basically this is the program that we wanted to write this is a very simple condition that is helping us in order to check whether the number is the odd number or the even number over here so guys let us just provide the console.log statement in this case and simply we will provide the check odd even function name and then we need to provide the number with this so basically let us say when we provide the number 2 in this case which is actually an even number let us see what will be the output when we save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the java JavaScript file over here and when we press enter as you can see number is even is getting printed over here now guys once again when we provide another number in this case so let us say we provide the number 11 over here let us see what will be the output whether it is the even number or the odd number when we run this code once again over here as you can see the first statement is the number is even for the number 2 in this case and for the number 11 we are getting number is odd over here so guys in this way this very simple statement has helps us in order to find whether the number is the even or the odd number and it is one of the important questions as far as the interviews are concerned. Now guys apart from this, this particular else statement is not required over here so even if we remove this else part and simply return the number is odd then also it should work. So when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting number is even and number is odd for two numbers that is 2 and 11 respectively. Now guys apart Apart from this, let us say we provide another number over here. Let's say we provide the number 52 in this case. What will be the output? Whether this will be an even or the odd number? Comment in the comment section below. Let us see whether your answer is correct or not. So please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. I'll see you in the next video in which we are going to check how to swap two numbers without using a third variable. So stay tuned.